Hello, buddy. It's that college football guy here in another video. I'll be doing my prediction video a little bit later here. Um, this one is, I just finished watching a video from John Kurtz about some lawsuits that could be threatening the, either threatening the future and really hurt the Big 12. And please check out John's channel because he's got a, that video came up. It just got up a little bit ago. It's a great video. Um, check out his channel. He's got other great content. Mainly on a Big 12 slam, but he does call on college football and conference realignment. Some college basketball, too. But the one thing I look at this, and I'm, I'm hearing this, there's two lawsuits. Two that are up there. One is one involving that uh, they were, that I forgot the individual involved in, who wants to sue all Power 5 universities, and based upon, it could be up to $4.2 billion in damages. Based upon lost potential NIL revenue. Um... Genius? Universities don't put the NIL revenue together. They're the collectives. It's separate. So why are you suing universities who are not part of NIL? Oh, because they have the money. But this is not about the money. This is about the integrity of all the athletes. Then why aren't you suing the group of five schools? Oh, because they don't have the money. The lawyers are going to have a field day with this. Now, could they win? Yeah, but... Odds are probably not, because you're suing the wrong people. You have to sue the NIL Collective. Well, you can't sue them because they didn't exist. This is a lawsuit that possibly could get outright dismissed because you're going after the wrong people. Well, we're going after them because we have our television rights. Okay, so any current athletes being mentioned in this? No. Well, you're saying you're better than current athletes? Well, they get NIL money, but you're not suing for NIL money. You're suing for your name and your image being used in college basketball. Well, we didn't have that option. They didn't have the option of winning the lottery either, but that doesn't mean the fact that they pounce. I mean, I normally don't side for the power side. I really like rooting for the underdog, but this is one time where I can say, what the hell are you doing? This is a cash grab, and it's a blatant one. And they say, oh my God, they could lose. They could, all, they, they could win and they can destroy college. They also could lose this case, this case, get dismissed because it's going after the wrong people. Then there's the other one, which is the one I really want to talk about. The one with the $4.2 billion, you're going after television networks because of using your television image and likeness. And the fact with the rule that applied for them, we want to be retroactively paid for a rule that didn't exist. That's legally going to have a problem. Yeah, you could present it and argue it. Proving it, different story. The other one, that student athletes should be paid as contracted employees, the equivalent of someone doing a work study, as a minimum wage, hourly wage, for being paid for their athletic time. And part of it was being considered a, a contracted employee. I hope that's not in this, because if it is, and any of you are on scholarship, you're screwed. Why? Answer me this question. Can a contracted employee be eligible for an athletic scholarship? No. Which means you sue, you win. But now the university can sue you for reimbursement of all that tuition that they paid you on an athletic scholarship. Now, they say, well, the numbers that some people threw around was like, well, they could get $40,000 a year. On a work study money, they get $40,000 a year. Um, you're not getting forty, because work study work 50 weeks a year. How long is the college basketball season? How long is the football season? At most, what, five months counting prep? Five, six months? Half a year? Should you get twenty grand? Four years, that's $80,000. Name me a Power 5 university... With full scholarship, tuition costs less than twenty grand. Very few. On top of that, lawsuit money, you're going to have to pay taxes on that. If your lawyer's fees aren't included, that comes out the one-third. Hopefully that'd be separate. But either way, you'd have to pay the tax. I don't know if it's 16% or 18%, whatever the tax revenue is on it. You're going to lose probably 15 to 20% of your money. If you're getting 80 grand, that puts you down to what, 60, 65,000? Then you'd have to get sued. You'd have to pay reimbursement for your tuition and possibly pay the school's lawyer's fees on top of it. 
because they beat you in court. You pay, they paid your lawyer's fees when they, you win. You had to pay their lawyer's fees when they win. This could be very, very bad. Asking to be a contractual employee is the dumbest thing you can do because it puts you on the hook. Employees are ineligible for athletic scholarships, as far as I know. You can get a discount and work for your studies and have, I think, the, the your employer, your university, pay half and you pay the other half or possibly could get a scholarship, but not an athletic one. You can get a regular scholarship, but not an athletic scholarship. You didn't go to school on a regular scholarship. You went on an athletic scholarship. It's totally separate. Now, say you can somehow parlay that and you get half. But like I said, half the money, you're still going to end up owing money. What I'm thinking of this is, are they cash grabs? Absolutely. Could they be laughed out of court as cash grabs? Potentially. Could the universities lose initially? Yes. Could they win on appeal? Definitely. Both cases have major flaws. Everybody's panicking. Oh, God, we're going to lose them. Stop. Think. Okay? Think. You're suing the universities based on their TV contract for your being on television revenue. Okay, fine. Who are you suing again? Because the fact is, if you're not concluding every current athlete as part of this, you can't, it's going to be <clears throat> impossible to prove it or <clears throat> have a flaw. Wait a minute. So you're asking, you said that you are, and one of the arguments is that they're no different than the athletes of today. Well, you're asking for something that the athletes of today can't get. could be a problem. As for the other lawsuit, we're asking for hourly wage reimbursement. Like they're literally asking for, you know, we, we, you work in a work study, you get hourly wage. Hour, min, the, the, you get minimum wage. You pay minimum wage while you work. But like I said, work studies, you work 50, could work 50 weeks a year. 48, we count the holiday. How long is it the longest bas long sports season? You went after basketball and football. None of them are year long. And it's based upon the time you do something. So you go there. You travel. You're on the basketball tournament. Okay, fine. Get paid for all this time. What about the other six months of the year where you don't do anything? Start thinking about it. Go like, they're not going to get that much. I heard this and I'm like, everybody's like, <clears throat> the big power fire we live and everybody's going to lose everything. And they could get laughed out of court. The right lawyers could shred these players' cases. So I'm not looking at it with the point where they could be in trouble. I'm looking at the point where they may lose everything. And if you, the one with being an employee, that could be worse. I mean... I'm going to say there. Let me, let me do this. Work study 40000 a year. You only work half the year, you get 20, 25000 a year. Four years, 100 grand. 16% taxes. Cut you down to what, 80, 84? How much is tuition for a year? Major school, 25, 26000 a year? Say 25. Or say 20. 80,000. Plus, you got to pay their lawyer's fees. And their lawyers are a hell of a lot more expensive than yours. You could be in the hole after this is over. If you're not on scholarship and you sue, okay, now you're talking about it. But if anybody who's on scholarship is a part of this, you're, could, you could be done. Because once you establish the fact that you're an employee and you want to retroactively be paid, they can retroactively go back to get that money back from school. Because employees are not eligible for athletic scholarships. I don't think they thought that through. I think they thought that they could skate by it. I'm pretty sure the lawyers involved will do their due diligence and probably offer them fifteen to fifteen twenty thousand dollars an athlete and call it good. You get five grand a year. 
No longer sue, no more money, and you're done. Five grand a year. 20 grand. Take it or leave it. Don't be surprised if they get lowballed. Are we going to find out about this? How long do lawsuits take to get done? Here's a news news flash. How long did the Ed O'Bannon lawsuit take to get done? Seven years? Ten years? We may not hear about this till 2035. So, this is going to be a while. But let me know your thoughts about these two little lawsuits down in the comments. I said, check out John Kurtz's video, K-U-R-T-Z, John Kurtz. Check out his channel. He has the video up on it. Just posted today. Let me know what your th thoughts about this down in the comments. So, thanks everybody for watching the video. If you haven't done it already, please smash the like button. Hit the thumbs up. It helps with the algorithm. It helps the video. We see my more people comment on the video. Let me know what you think. And subscribe to the channel. On the way to find our subscribers, surely but surely on the way to a thousand. So, you make some things happen. One thing about my subscriber count I found out. A couple of people I knew, the, the count's gone up a couple of people because I talked to them and asked them why they didn't subscribe. I've asked them what's going on and they were still subscribed to the channel. And they went back like, wait a minute, I'm not. Somehow YouTube unsubscribed them. So for those who are watching the video and you think you're subscribed to the channel, double check if you are subscribed before to make sure you still are now. For some reason, they're getting unsubscribed and I don't know why. And I'm not getting an explanation as to why. So... Just please check on that. So thanks, everybody, for watching. Everybody's having a great Friday. As soon as this gets started here, I'm going to do a little thing at work here and then record the video probably I might probably over and around the corner here. I might just do it here, but as soon as this one starts uploading, do it here so I can let them upload while I'm on my way home. And I'll get into that a little bit later here. But thanks, everybody, for watching. Be safe and please be good to each other.